So, how's everybody doing today? You might be wondering, why does he have two laptops set up on his desk? Well, at the behest and request of a friend of mine, Jay Vry, he, uh, he wanted to know about running Mojave on some of the oldest hardware possible. So, we're going to give you a little demonstration. So, in front of you, we have two MacBooks. These are both 2008 aluminum unibody MacBooks. These machines are nearly identical. They both have 260 gigabyte SATA 3 SSDs. They both have 8 gigabytes DDR3 1066 memory. The memory is actually the same exact brand for both machines as Corsair. <clears throat> They're both 13 inch. They both have working batteries. This one has a, has a newer one, but they both have working batteries. They're both hooked up to AC power. Um, simply because the machine runs best when it's hooked into power versus running on the batteries. The only difference is, this machine, there's, there's two models of MacBook. This is a 5 comma 1. There's a 2 gigahertz model, and then there's a 2.4 gigahertz model. These are like the baby MacBook Pro. I guess you could say. Um, the only difference between the two machines is this one's a 2 gigahertz, this one's a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. This one has a regular keyboard and this one has a backlit keyboard. That's the only difference between the two machines. Other than that, they're spec'd out identical. They are, they are pretty much maxed out. These are both running OS 10 Mojave. Um, 10.14.5 um, my friend Jay said about doing a video because he he doesn't believe that Mojave runs on these machines as well as I say it does and uh, I was actually quite skeptical myself I ran High Sierra on this one here the 2 gigahertz model for quite some time I was not terribly impressed with it I thought it was very laggy it was a good operating system but I, I thought it was rather laggy and kind of sluggish um, now granted I was only running with four gigabytes of memory but in terms of just running the operating system I think anytime you get over four gigabytes you're kind of I, I, I don't really think it makes a lot of difference um, for some of the stuff I like to do on these machines the more the merrier so the number one upgrade you can do to these two machines and these are very, very good laptops, by the way. Um, if you're looking for a reasonably priced, cheap MacBook, the, I mean, you cannot go wrong with these. These, these are great machines. Uh, they run El Capitan natively. Um, That's the latest operating system that Apple supports on them. But I'm going to show you that they do run Mojave. Um, they might even run Catalina when it comes out later this year. So we'll find. We might find out. I, I might run Catalina on the 2.4 gigahertz one. Um, but I, I, I like to wait till the operating system is kind of tried and they've had a couple of bug fixes done before I start running this on hardware I want to use. And this, this is hardware that I use. I use this laptop pretty hard sometimes. Um, this one's my wife's, this one's mine. Um, she barely does anything. She, I'm lucky if she gets a laptop out three times a year. So she has the old 2 gigahertz one. I have the 2.4 gigahertz one. So this one here was a birthday present from my brother. Hi, Sassy. That's my cat, Sassy, by the way. He's a jerk. Um, this one here was uh, I purchased off of Jay Rye a few months ago for a very reasonable price. He actually assembled it out of a couple different computers. Um, it's a little beat up looking on the outside, but other than that, I mean, it's a perfectly functioning machine. So, what we're going to do is uh, these are both shut down. Both these machines are completely turned off right now. Uh, they're not sleeping or anything like that. They are totally shut down. So we're going to start both of them up from a cold start. And you're going to see just how fast these machines start up. Um, I don't know. I don't think either of these is going to chime because I usually get the volume turned off on them. So as you see the power lights are both on. I take it back. They're both going to chime. And obviously this one here is going to start up faster than this one because this has got a faster processor, you know. But I, I'm also doing this to show that 
even on a 2 gigahertz machine, which is the slowest 5.1 MacBook, um, it's, it's amazing how well it runs. So, the 2.4 is at the boot screen already. It's at the login screen already. And, of course, the 2 gigahertz is still booting up. As you see, it's really not too horrible. Um, I'm going to turn the brightness up here on the screen so we can see a little better. So, we're going to log into both machines. Whoops. Oops. There we go. So, now we're in the finder. So, this this machine actually, and it's stupid, I don't know why I did it. This one's actually a clone of my Mac Pro hard drive. I don't even know how I meant. Oh, this, this SSD was in my Mac Pro. And I didn't format it first, and then when I went to install Mojave on it, it basically installed Mojave on top of El Capitan. So, um, so everything's booted up. So, um, see, this one here is a default wallpaper while this one's customized. Um, we're gonna get rid of these notifications. Now, just to prove about the specs on the machines, we're going to zoom in here. Hopefully you can read this. So, as you see, we're running 10.14.5 on a MacBook 13-inch aluminum late 2008. 2.4 gigahertz core 2 duo, 8 gigabytes of 1067 DDR3, and an NVIDIA GeForce 9400 with 256 megs of memory. I am so glad these don't have Intel graphics. Oh my god, it's such a big difference not having Intel graphics. Um, Intel graphics suck. Um, okay, and we're going to bring up about this computer, about this Mac on... The 2 gigahertz. Same thing. 10.14.5, 13 inch aluminum late 2008, 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 8 gigs of 1067 DDR3, and an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M. The machines are identical. I mean, they are, they are spitting images of each other, except this one's slower than this one. So, my cats are doing dances. So, Now we know that both machines are the same. Both machines are running off of AC power. So therefore, the processor should be running at full speed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up. And yes, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I run Google Chrome. I am just the way it is. Okay. So we're going to load Google Chrome. And Google Chrome is a memory hog. So, you know. And of course, we're going to get crap loads of notifications. And one of my mag safes doesn't work 100% perfectly. So this one here might flicker a little bit. It's not a fault in the computer. It's the AC adapter. Uh, one of my mag safes is finicky sometimes. It works fine. It's just kind of finicky. Uh, sometimes it starts and stops and starts and stops charging and causes this screen to change. It's not a fault in the hardware. Trust me. <laughs> That's actually one of the reasons I got this for free is because my brother thought there was something wrong with the computer and here it was just a bad AC adapter. 
So I have a replacement. I have a actually I have an 85 watt adapter that I use to normally charge them because it charges these things fairly quickly. Um, I use that mostly on my machine. Um, my wife doesn't use hers very often, so truthfully, it probably won't even be charged half the time. That's why she's got the crappy battery. I've got the good battery. So, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load YouTube. And, as you see, the, the actual YouTube site loaded fairly nicely. Um, we're going to do dark theme. I prefer the dark look anyway. That's why I, I, that's one of the reasons I like Mojave. I wanted the dark theme. And uh, it works out really well. So, um, so we're going to load up. We're going to go into my channel. That way there's no copyright strikes. <laughs> so. And we're going to just load up a video. I'm just going to mute the audio on both machines. Because we don't need to listen to my voice twice. And this is a 33-minute video. This is the one I did not too long ago on the Power Mac G5. So. As you see, very quick. It's actually quite heavy. I mean, you can see they're actually almost exactly in sync, working just fine. I mean, they stream video beautiful. I actually watch movies on these machines. And even if we blow it up, you know, it's still beautiful. I mean, it works great. You know, another site that people are always talking about is Facebook. And we can load Facebook on both these machines. There we go. Go into Mike's Mac Shack. And Facebook is a sluggish site. I mean, I, I, run, face, I run Facebook on very modern computers and it still sucks <laughs> you know it's just a very slow there's so much code and crap that it's loading and it adds and everything else now obviously you see the 2.4 is faster than the 2 but this is still very usable so so we're going to quit chrome all right and now we're going to load up the one program that will kill this machine and I'm telling you, it, 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 doing this particular thing will kill these machines. Not literally, but in terms of resource usage, oh my god, Final Cut Pro. Um, now, the version running on here is slightly older than the version running on here, only simply because I use Final Cut Pro um, 10.3 on my Mac Pro. Um, and this one here runs 10.4. Um, 10.3 won't run on anything older than, I believe, Sierra. So, and as you see, Final Cut Pro, I mean, loaded right away on here. Um, it's just going to act up on here because it's trying to find my video files for my Mac Pro, and they're, they're not linked at the moment. So, um, both these machines are running on Wi-Fi, you know, 802.11ac. Wi-Fi. Actually, I'm, it might even be Wi-Fi 802.11n. I, I truthfully don't know what these have in them. Um, I think there's AC, I think they're ACs, but I'm not positive. So, but as you see, I mean, loading up, you know, something on one of these machines, you know, it is quite you know it's very quick you know and, and these are some of the oldest machines that Mojave will run on um, 
Now both of these use Colin Mass Misters, excuse me, Colin Misters, Mojave Patcher, which is a very, very easy tool to use. So um, if anybody comes up and says, hey, you know, I have a MacBook 5 comma 1, you know, it's, it's that old aluminum one. Can I run Mojave on it? Most definitely. I, I definitely suggest running, I would run Mojave, I think Mojave runs way better than High Sierra ever did. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's more efficient and, and it's been designed differently. Um, I mean, it's still OS X, obviously. It still has the same core, but, you know, they must have done something to speed it up because High Sierra was horrible. Um, so, you know, I could run benchmarks, you know. I could go in here to Tech Tool and... I think there's some benchmarks in here, if I remember correctly. And, of course, we're going to get... I keep forgetting, um... It wants me to upgrade... Because... This uh, version is not exactly... 100% compatible with Mojave but for what I want to do it'll run fine so I've done the processor benchmarks my camera shut off unexpectedly uh, probably because it got hot uh, I'm using a Sony Alpha 5100 and they are notorious for getting hot um, after about 20 minutes of recording video so and we'll go in here And you can see this is the 2.4. It's got 17.3 on the dry stone reading. It took 57.9 seconds to run the test, the processor test. And then we go over here to the 2 gigahertz. And you see it's got 14.3 on the dry stone at 0.697 seconds. So. The processor in this one is significantly faster than this one. It doesn't seem like 400 megahertz would make a big difference, but it does. So, but that's my little video on running Mojave on the MacBook aluminum unibody. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Um, I'm going to start posting stuff, more stuff on Facebook. And uh, we can shut these both down. And as you see, they both shut down fairly quickly. This one here takes a little longer, you know, but it's done. So if you have any questions about running Mojave on these older machines, feel free to ask. Um, I want to thank Jay Vry for... His help obtaining the 2.4 gigahertz MacBook. Um, I love it. It's it's fast. You know, it's faster than my Mac Pro, obviously. So, you know, and of course my brother for giving me this one for my birthday or for Christmas. Yeah, I think no, it was a birthday present. Um, so, I never thought I'd have a MacBook. I never really cared for MacBooks, but I love the aluminum ones. These are the best ones to get. If you ever run across one of these. Uh, my, like, J, uh, Greg K always tells me, he says, people sell these as Mac Pros, as MacBook Pros. Or they'll sell a MacBook Pro and they'll, th they'll think it's a MacBook. You know, so, sometimes you get them real cheap, sometimes people want stupid money for them because they think they're a pro and they're not. Because there's a MacBook Pro, it looks almost identical to this. So, all you gotta do is look for the MacBook, you know. But these are great machines. If you have the opportunity to buy one, I definitely recommend getting one. So, this is Mike's Mac Shack signing off, and we'll see you later.